Hi guys, so today's video is going to be on how I lost weight, um, specifically 12 pounds. I know, crazy, right? Um, and just like the backstory of how I ended up gaining 12 pounds and just um, like the, some tips and tricks that I can give you guys um, if you guys are looking to lose some weight. Okay. Okay, so backstory. I, before I went into the military or while I was in the, or I'm still in the military, but before I went to training and everything, um, if if you guys are new to my channel, my name's Courtney. Hi. I'm in the military. And um, before I went to basic training and AIT, I was 137 pounds. Um, and I was like, that was, yeah. So I was 137 pounds. And then when I got home, I was fine, whatever. And then I noticed when right when I hit 22, my weight was just like going up so much. And I'm like, what is happening here? Like, what is going on? And, you know, I went to the doctor and he was like, not even that concerned. Like, I'm like, I just gained 10 pounds in one month. Like, guy. And I got up, um, my heaviest weight got, ended up getting up to 162 pounds. And the absolute heaviest before I've ever been, like when I was in high school, was probably 155. Um, so I was really concerned and my blood work kind of came back a little sketchy, like the cholesterol part. And it's high cholesterol is very, um, it's hereditary in my family. So I kind of got a little concerned about it. So I started working out harder um, and nothing was changing. I went back again and nothing was changing, whatever. So I really had to like reevaluate my life, kind of figure out what's going on. Um, you know, my doctor gave me like this paper with what I should eat or whatever, and it was just stupid. Like it was so useless. So I started being honest with myself and realized, you know, maybe you're not working out as much as you used to. Because I used to work, I used to go hard, like so hard. But then I went back to school, which is no excuse. Like you should always just kind of figure out your schedule, or whatever. But I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get into that in the like as we go on to the video. So the first thing that I know. Um, kind of triggered it is when I went on birth control. I started birth control when probably, I don't remember actually, around the time that I started to um, gain a lot of weight. And my doctor said, you do um, end up, you do um, gain water weight when you do start birth control. So that was a humongous, that was a huge um, factor in why I was gaining so much weight in so little time. Because as soon as I started birth control, I realized I, um, I am getting so much weight, like 10 pounds in a month. That's ridiculous. Um, and so I was like looking up. So yeah, so that's one thing. So if you're on birth control, um, it depends on the person, but I ended up gaining a lot of water weight from the birth control. Um, but eventually it went away. Um, thank God. <laughs> so, um, my boyfriend likes to call it, says I, I, um, gained weight cause it's love weight. I'm like, I guess maybe I eat more when we go out to eat a lot. So maybe that's why. And that comes to my next thing. I was eating out a lot and I was not being honest with myself. I was getting Chick-fil-A every day and I'm so embarrassed to say this, but whatever. I got, I would get a 12 count nugget meal with a large fry and a large sweet tea like two, three times a week. That's a lot. So, um, I had to cut back on eating out. Um, now I kind of eat out maybe once, or twice a week. And when I do, it's healthier, healthier. I don't go to Chick-fil-A as often because, and now when I think back to it, I'm like, it makes me sick thinking that I ate that much Chick-fil-A. Like, ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I was eating Chick-fil-A like every single day. Let's just be honest. Um, so that contributed. Not I wasn't eating, eating as healthy. Um, and I wasn't working out enough to compensate for what I was eating. Um, I definitely wasn't working out as much as I was. I was maybe working out once or twice a week, and I'm used to working Monday, working out Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, um, like hard workouts. Um, so I had to get back in the swing of that when I went to school. So I would go, I go to two and work out like in between classes. So I have a class, one class in the morning, and then I have a huge gap in between the next class. Um, in the afternoon, so I go work out in between those, go grab some lunch, a healthy lunch, or a pack my lunch, and then um, go to class. Very, like, schedule-oriented person, so I got into a routine. Um, so, yeah. 
stop, I just stopped eating so damn much. That's basically, I eat one big meal a day and I'm perfectly satisfied with that and I'll have like snacks um, and like if I get um, hungry and I always get hungry at night and have to like get a little snack, like I don't know what it is, after 12 o'clock my stomach just empties itself and I'm so hungry. Um, also, I don't, I'm not a breakfast person, so I'll probably get like a protein shake or something in the mornings, or, um, uh, I would have like a yogurt and fruit, um, like plain yogurt and fruit. It takes a while to get like the taste, um, like get used to the taste because it's like kind of sour at first, but I get plain, um, low fat organic yogurt and you can get whatever yogurt you like as long as it's not high in sugar and then fresh fruit, um, and then sometimes I would actually make a shake out of it. Um, I stopped eating as much dairy because dairy is really hard on my stomach. Um, I've no come to notice as I've gotten older. Um, so I switched to um, either like a lactate, a lactate milk so it doesn't have lactate in it. And, um, or I drink more like almond milk, soy milk, that kind of things. And it does take a while to adjust to, you know, eat, drinking almond milk, but it's... It feels so much lighter. I don't feel as heavy when I have it. And I just said I try to cut out dairy in it, but I eat yogurt. But yeah, I eat yogurt sometimes. Um, and you can, I think there's like soy yogurts and stuff like that. So it's like non-dairy yogurts. Um, but if I do, it's only like a little bit, like half a cup of, of yogurt uh, in my shakes. Um, and then, like I said, the protein shakes, I use almond milk on my protein shakes. Um, and that'll keep me good until like lunchtime. Um, what else? Also put like a little bit of um, oatmeal in it. Um, so yeah, it just depends. You go on Pinterest. I, I researched on Pinterest a lot, um, like healthy snacks, healthy meals, whatever, and just go from there. Um, another thing is drink water. Water is so important. Um, I noticed I was not drinking as much water as I um, used to. So I had to get a, a water bottle. My water bottle is actually over there. Um, and it's about, I can't remember how many fluid ounces it is, but it's pretty book water bottle. And I always made sure that I drank at least two to three of them a day. I keep spitting everywhere. Um, at least drink two to three of them a day. And then, um, I mean, the only downside is that is like you're peeing all the time. But I, if, I feel so much better. Um, hydrated. My skin has benefited from it. Oh my goodness. My hair has been growing longer. I swear it's the water. Something in the water. Um, but I also put uh, two caps of apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar um, in it. And I've researched a lot of benefits from it. You can, you can go research it yourself because it's like a lot. But it's really good for your skin. Um, and apparently it's good for your insides and it helps you lose weight. I personally haven't like used it long enough to like notice um, like the weight part of it. Get a good workout plan. Um, no, first of all, you need to be honest with yourself. You you know you're eating out. You know you're not eating as good as you should be. You're not getting it, uh, the nutrients and everything. Um, just be honest with yourself. I literally lied to myself. I'm like, I'm working out. I'm not eating that bad. I was eating so bad. I was not working out that much. Uh, so I got back in my groove. It's really easy to fall off, um, especially when you get busy with school and everything. Um, but just if you really want to do it, you can do it. Um, so yeah, work out, get a good plan, get a good nutrition plan for you, figure out what works for you, what doesn't, what works for me may not work for you. Um, so Pinterest is your best friend. Google is your best friend. Um, I love Pinterest. What else? And water. Water is so important. Water, you need you need water when you work out so you don't get cramps and everything. Um, but yeah, so those. And then another thing that really helped me, I had a fit, I got a Fitbit for my birthday. So the Fitbit app, I'm not wearing it right now, so it's not gonna really show you. But the Fitbit app, I have like a lifestyle thing on my phone. I don't know if you can see it because of the, I don't think the camera's gonna focus. But um, I have a lifestyle um, like folder on my phone and it has my Fitbit, my Nike Run Club app and that has saved me. I love the Nike Run Club app. It keeps track of um, how like how far you're going, how many miles it, it um, updates you on each mile that you're running. Um, so I started running like one to three miles. It just depends on my mood at the time. Um, and then my Fitbit app. I love the Fitbit app um, and it also helped me. Um, 
when I was trying to eat healthy, everything that I ate, I put into this Fitbit app. So you'd scan the barcode, and this is not sponsored, but I just really love the Fitbit. Um, so yeah, I'll, but anyway, so I would track what I ate. It lets you also track, I don't know if you guys can see it very well. I don't think you can. Let's see, no. But it lets you track um, how many calories you've had. So you can scan the barcode and it'll come up on the phone. And then you eat how many, ser you put in how many serving, serving sizes you've um, consumed. Um, and like the drink, eat anything. Um, if you had like fresh fresh fruit or you know vegetables, whatever, you just put it in there and then you don't and it'll and um, it'll tell you how far you've gone over how many calories or if you're under and everything. Um, it also t um, ha t tells you like how much water you've drank. My goal was to have 64 ounces a day. 64 fluid ounces a day um, so I really love that it tracks your exercise tracks how many calories you've burned how many miles you've walked how many floors you have and, um, but yeah it's really cool um, that really helped me one thing I will say is um, is to kind of watch out for it also um, don't get too obsessive with it because I really got obsessive with it to the point where I was like wanting to bang my head in the walls not literally but you know what I mean I was getting too obsessive to the point where it was kind of unhealthy and I wasn't like living my life um, like how I wanted to live my life so that's one thing to like really um, just like keep in mind um, don't get too obsessed with it I would it would be all I thought about all day like how many calories I'm in it like that's not the way to live life I, I don't like that at all that's not how I want to live my life treat yourself like on a Saturday or like on a weekend like treat yourself don't go ham you know don't eat everything but treat yourself you know um, so that's what I do. I, I've got, I cut myself down to one, one big meal a day and it's working out for me. Um, but yeah, I hope that helps. And I ended up just working real hard and I lost weight and I'm still wanting to get back to my pre, my, you know, my private weight, you know, when I was a little private. Um, I want to get back to that weight when I was working out every day, you know, we worked out hard. Um, I want to get back to that 137 is my goal weight and I'm like getting there if this is like really happening I've lost 12 pounds I cannot believe I've lost 12 pounds I cannot believe that I can't believe I got up to that much to be honest so yeah I hope this video really helped you if you have any like um, burning questions or anything definitely let me know in the comments um, you can also email me I have I have my email like for all the people who are wanting to join the army and everything whatever you um my email is down below if you want to email me um but i hope this video helped you guys and don't forget to like comment subscribe go subscribe thumbs up this video for me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys